I now call to make her maiden speech Paulette Hamilton. Today I stand, Madam Deputy Speaker, and it's also an honour to follow the member of Thurrock. To, to thank you uh, for giving me the opportunity to make my maiden speech. I can only say how proud I am to be a Brummie today. <laughs> I am overwhelmed but privileged to be standing here today in this great institution. Being elected to Parliament is not just a right, it's, it is an honour and an even greater honour knowing your community voted for you to be here. Yeah. When I was elected on the 4th of March, people found it difficult to understand that I was the first female to be elected for the Erdington constituency. They were even more shocked to learn that I was the first person of African and Caribbean descent to be elected as a Member of Parliament in Birmingham. Yeah. I hope the constituency shares my pride in knowing that they have made history. Yeah. Saying that, I cannot go any further without talking about the late, great Jack Jomian. Yeah. Jack was elected in May 2010 and worked relentlessly to serve our community. He said in Parliament and often within the constituency in his speeches, Erdington may be rich in talent, but it is one of the poorest constituencies in the country. Until his death, he worked to support his constituency in so many ways. Any job lost in the area was a personal blow to Jax. That there have been many tributes that have been made to him in, in this place and in the community. It shows how much he was deeply, he's deeply missed. Mm. Madam Deputy Speaker, I grew up in Answorth in a neighbouring constituency of Perry Bar, but Erdington is a place I have called home for 35 years. Over 103,000 people live in the constituency and we have a diverse community, 26% BME people, with over 69% of our community under the age of 45 years old, with some families who have sadly not worked for three genera generations. It is important to get these people back to work. We need to invest instill confidence, give opportunity, and build aspirations into our young people. Yeah. I am looking forward to being involved with debates relating to people living with mental health issues. Serving as the mental health champion for Birmingham City Council, the first ever to be elected, I have seen at first hand the increase in people living with mental health issues and a massive increase since the pandemic of young people living with severe and enduring mental illnesses. Mm -hmm. The funding in this area has been cut and it does, not need, and it does need to be increased mm -hmm. as mental health services are struggling to access adequate inpatient, inpatient beds when needed. In Erdington, the community has also seen an alarming increase in the houses of multi-occupancy, wow. where we have the second highest number in the city. My constituency needs to see an urgent change in legislation yeah. to, ensure, to ensure poor, unscrupulous landlords are punished, yeah. fined, and removed from the market yeah, yeah, if they yeah, fail yeah. to comply with the rules yeah. that are designed to protect yeah. residents. Yeah. These are just some of the many issues that I will be raising on behalf of my constituency as I, as I heard time and time again whilst out campaigning. My children were born in Erdington and some of them are up there. I am so <laughs> proud. <laughs> They went, um, and, and they went to Erdington schools, of which we have over 40 in my constituency. I have 40 schools to visit, and I promise I will be visiting all of them. 
<laughs> but listen to the, 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 the point. I know I will feel at home when I do, because arriving in Parliament after a by-election has truly made me feel like the new girl at school. <laughs> <laughs> My husband opened his first shop on the Slade Road in the late 80s, in an area where the high street was dying. So as a family, we were acutely aware of the difficulty other small businesses were experiencing back then. At the same time, I trained as a nurse and worked at the local health centre in, on, in Warren Farm Road, King Standing, for several years. My career in the health service lasted over 25 years, and it has truly shaped my political career. As I have already noted, Erdington is a very diverse part of Birmingham with a wonderful, strong community and neighbourhood spirit, with people who work very hard and look out for each other. One day you could be celebrating Eid on, in Stockland Green, or Vasaki in the local Gudwara, or you could be working with our strong Irish or African Caribbean community to celebrate the Good Friday walk along the high street. Our manufacturing history is well known. Sadly, too many of our workplaces have closed. It is vital that new business comes into the constituency. So it is important that through the levelling up fund, we are given the funding to develop our high street, particularly the Erdington High Street. The Erdington constituency can look quite dark and lack in green space when you drive through. This is because of the roads like the, dra the Gravelly Hill interchange, which I am sure you all know as Spaghetti Junction. <laughs> <laughs> but if you can look more closely under the Spaghetti Junction, and Gary will tell you this, you can walk along some of the most beautiful canal walkways in the country. We are all so fortunate to have many lovely parks, such as Pipe Hayes, such as the Rookery Park, such as Shorteeth Plainfields, such as the, the beautiful 13-acre site owned by the Erdington Rugby Club. Mm -hmm. I would also like to mention the stunning bowling facility we have in the constituency, run by the Erdington Port Bowls Club, the Brookvale Lakes, the Whitton Lodge Lakes, where residents do duckling watch to ensure we preserve the, the natural beauty of this area is truly incredible. Alongside the amazing Eco Hub run by an organization called the Whitton Lodge Association. When I won this election, my husband looked on and said, well done. Now the work starts. Yeah. How right he was. <laughs> After receiving over 2,000 emails plus sacks of mail in my first month, I am under no illusions that the role of an MP is many things to many people. We are here to help, guide, advise, support and represent our constituents. Yeah. I want to thank the people of Birmingham Erdington for putting their faith and trust in me. It is an amazing privilege to be here. And my promise to you is that I will work tirelessly on your behalf, both in this place and in the community. I'd like to thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. Thank you. Yeah.